I really like that they have pulled up all the uh, Mikas, Michals, Michaels, and Michaels all together, so there's no need to, to introduction. Um, I would like to talk about MLO and with a centric view on the clients and how they behave. Uh, with an asterisk, of course, because I'm not a PhD and we take it simple, right? It's only a 10 talk. Um, there is no view here. Should it like be like this? This is dark. So the monitor, okay, and uh, not a problem. Um, yeah, so at least give you a starting point how you can uh, maybe dig deeper yourself. And uh, for doing that, question, who has a Wi-Fi 7 test lab at home or at work? Okay, so we might need to change that. This evening, if you'd like to join us in our evening session, we give away some R7070s, so um, not so many, but you can get, play a little game and then maybe you're lucky and get uh, a ruckus big boy access point. Okay, um, we will not go through this, and I'm very happy that Jim already talked to all the acronyms and explained the complicated stuff. So um, be with me, and if you're looking at the recording, maybe you go back to Jim's recording and uh, uh, learn a bit more about the, all the acronyms. So, um, different devices behave differently, right? We have seen that uh, a lot this week and different talks. And this is not a complete list, but I've listed the most common ones with the observations we, we made in the recent past. So, of course, this will change. There will be driver updates, there will be new chipset versions, new devices. And, uh, but for now, this is a common... Um, common view as, as, as we see it. And the importance here is that, of course, not all stations behave the same. And most interestingly, not all, all stations using the chip, chip, chipset vendors behave the same. Right? So we have, for example, one device which is using Qualcomm. It should do all the bands, uh, ESMR and SDR. But we find out uh, it's not going to use uh, 5 and 6 gigahertz. For MLO at the same time, it's only doing 5 and 6 or 2.4 and 6. So this is just for reference. Um, let's go on. So when I'm a client, which, mood, which mode should I choose and uh, how I'm going to do that? So simply put, there are two different ways of, of doing things in the very beginning. That means first the client can go through uh, association, uh, connection uh, flow, association requests, association responses, the normal stuff we already know. It was like this since ever, and uh, I like it because it's simple and uh, um, I, I can understand this. The fun part is now that stations can also change their mode of operation or change their operation parameters after being connected. So they change the modes all of the time, maybe or maybe not. And of course, it's, it's really interesting when you uh, look at the roaming, or maybe if when roaming improves in the future, how this is going to be. Um, and there are two, two things to doing that. One is setting power management bits um, with the trigger frame, so setting a link to sleep or to wake up, being able to send, being able to, to listen on the link or, or not. And um, my new favorite acronym here, the Enhanced Multi-Link Operation Mode Notification Frame, uh, which is a new management frame in Wi-Fi 7 that just indicates uh, that you want to change something or that you want to go to enhanced mode or, or go back. When we have a look at the, um, the basic things, so uh, if you have the R770 in your lab, then you can do a packet capture on that, on all the radios, and you will see beacons coming in, and within the beacons, you have a new field um, with Wi-Fi 7 called the common info field. And they can see all the important stuff, MAC addresses, uh, and so on and so on. But I want to point out this yellow thing here, the maximum number of simultaneous links, which is in your head, normally you had to add one more, right? Because um, simultaneous links of one means there are two links, and not only one. Um, but maybe it's just a... Uh, a problem in my head, and we will use it later on. Then we have the association requests, we have the association responses, 
we don't want to go into that because uh, basically they're all the same information at the beacons. And uh, also here you can see the common info fields. And maybe this is interesting because if you don't see the common info field at all in your association request from a Wi-Fi 7 client to a Wi-Fi 7 access point, then it's not doing MLO. And then it's not behaving like a Wi-Fi 7 device should do. So uh, maybe there's a bigger problem um, behind that. Okay, so this is basic stuff. They agree on something, uh, on the capabilities, and then they move on. Now let's, let's see when the client is connected, uh, how they can state, uh, change states. And um, yeah, just to give you information, um, we, we have this simultaneous number of links, and it is either zero or it's larger than zero. And then you can do either MSLR or SDR or ML. Uh, MR. And when you are in MLSR, for example, then you can use the power mode uh, bit uh, in the trigger frame to send to certain links to sleep, to wake up again. And uh, this simply uh, looks like this. So um, we already know that, right? It's just the, the legacy method of doing things, but now for these different links in MLO. Then um, there's another mode called Enhanced uh, MLSLR. And now it's getting interesting because you can change between all the ones um, uh, in, in certain ways. And for these changes, you use the, how's it called, the m -lone frame, right? We've seen that before. And the m -lone frame is uh, the uh, new management frame where you uh, can just see in here EMLSR mode is true. And when you uh, go back, so true is set when you go to enhanced mode, and uh, it's set to false when you go back from uh, the enhanced mode. Interestingly, this one is a WAP3 encrypted management frame, right? So maybe it's a little bit tricky to get this decoded uh, in, in general. Coming back to, to this one here, so you can move between the modes. When you see that MSSR or EMSSR is used, um, there are the certain trigger frames, um, there are the uh, management frames, you can really be sure what the client is, is doing here. When you know, don't see any indication for any mode, um, the client should default to using SDR MLMR. So uh, if, if nothing is indicated, it should, be, it should be this one, because there is no real um, approach to, to move into that direction. It's just using that by default, else it's indicated that there is another mode in use. OK, um, so simple introduction to the topic. I think it's very complex and uh, very challenging to control, because whatever a client would do, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, the, the client drivers and uh, how roaming and so on is working um, needs to be improved for sure. But there are some certain use cases where um, there are benefits, and Jim pointed this out in his presentation yesterday. But uh, yeah, it will take time to, to see um, that Wi-Fi is really getting better through this one. Thank you. <laughs>